Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about product filter by categories. So let's see how can we filter products by category. So first of all, uh, let's display all category on this top page. So go to the sub controller. So just go inside the app directory, HTTP, controllers and from here let's open sub controller. And now inside this uh, index method, uh, let's page here all the categories so right here categories is equal to model name category okay and then order by let's order the category name by the name so right here the name column and add the order type ascending so right here asc and then call here the get method okay and now let's pass this categories to the view so inside this compact method just write here categories okay now save this and now go to the sub view so just go inside the resources directory views uh, and open the uh, soft.blade.php file okay and now inside this view file let's find the category drop down so here is the category filter okay this one and now uh, let's add here inside this ul tag let's add here the forage directive forage dollar categories add dollar category okay and now just remove all the li expect except this one first one so just remove and close this in for each and paste after this closing airline okay and now here let's display here the category name so inside this li uh, first add here the span tag so right here span and the class menu dash link py dash one okay and i close this pen tag and inside this pen tag i uh, just add here the checkbox so right here input type checkbox and class chk dash category name uh, let's say name is categories categories okay and value is equal to category arrow id okay and now close this checkbox and after this uh, let's display here and also add in the double quote okay and uh, after this name is equal to categories value is equal to okay here is a curly bracket missing so double curly bracket and now display here the category name so right here double curly bracket dollar category arrow name okay and now uh, here let's add just remove this anchor tag and add here the another span tag and set the class plot text write text test write and plot int okay and inside this is span tag just to display here the number of product uh, in particular category so right here dollar category uh, category arrow products arrow count okay now save this and uh, let's check this category okay so go to the soft page and uh, refresh the page and you can see here the categories okay uh, inside this evil tag uh, let's add here one more class we have added this uh, css for the checkbox okay so please uh, write this style on the uh, after this content section okay 
now let's copy this class and uh, inside this div just add here okay category dash list now save this and refresh the page okay now it's looking good you can see here in categories there are three product in two category and second category you can see the one product and inside the third category you can see the zero product okay now let's make working this so here uh, go to the bottom of the page and inside this filter form just add here hidden field input type is equal to a hidden and uh, name is equal to categories categories okay and uh, also set the id so right here hdn categories okay now close this and now here inside this javascript let's copy this okay and paste here and change here the name and just write here the categories okay and also change here categories uh, and also variable name categories categories is going to be blank and then assign this value otherwise assign this value okay and also copy this uh, hidden field id and uh, just paste here okay now save this and one more thing uh, here oops, hidden field okay right now go to the soft controller and uh, here inside this index method uh, let's create another variable so f underscore filter categories okay so right here f underscore categories is equal to dollar request arrow query and from query string uh, let's give the value of this this uh, hidden field so copy this name and paste here and now uh, inside this let's copy this where condition and uh, add the arrow sign and paste here okay and uh, let's change here the variable name so let's copy this if categories and just uh, paste here also change here okay and now change here the column name so write here category underscore id okay now it's good and now let's uh, return this variable value to the view so inside the compact method just right here f underscore categories okay now save this now go to the sub view and uh, inside the category checkbox let's add here this is the brand checkbox okay and uh, here is the category checkbox so inside this checkbox just right here at the rate f and again uh, let's use here the in array method in array and inside this just pass here the category underscore id and use here the explore method and explore and just add in the separator comma and then uh, this is string f categories okay so right here dollar f categories okay then if this id exists in this uh, array so um, display here checked checked is equal to checked okay and just close here the if try clips right here in f now save this now it's done so let's check this so, so switch to the browser and refresh the page now, undefined variable category id okay 
So here, all right, just write here the category arrow ID, not category underscore ID, okay. So save this file and press the page, page again. And then uh, let's filter the products according to this category. So let's select this one. Inside this category, you can see other three product. Okay, so let's check. It's not submitting the form. So let's check again. Category list CHK category. Okay. Mm, let's check the JavaScript. Name is equal to categories. What is the name? Categories, okay. And class is this one. Input name is equal to categories on change event. And uh, this one checked. Okay, here is the mistake. So just copy this variable, this category, not some brands. Okay, so just paste here categories, not brands. Now save this and uh, let's check again. So just refresh the page. And now let's check the first category checkbox. And this time it's working. You can see here there are three products. If I uncheck, you can see all the products. And now if I check the second category, you can see the one product. Okay and uh, inside the third no, no product available so it's not showing any product and if i check all the checkbox you can see the all the products okay so in this way you can filter products by category so that's all about filtering products by category so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching